Hey guys, Awake Nazis here. So I found out something kind of cool that I wanted to share with you. Um, turns out you can tell where jump capable ships are actually jumping to. So like Black Ops, Capitals, Super Capitals, and Jump Freighters. Um, well, most of you probably know the trick uh, where you can like uh, follow a ship that's going into warp and then tell where it's going. So, for example, to a planet, a gate, or an anomaly, or whatever. Um, it's kind of useful in PvP. So, for example, here, that went to this anomaly. You can tell by just following it. So, um, turns out you can do something similar with ships jumping, and um, I'm just gonna show you how to do that. So first of all, what are we looking for? Um, as you may know, ships jumping don't actually fly towards the destination in space as a ship warping would. So you can't just follow them like we did with the other example. However, if you pay close attention to the jump effect, you can tell there's this uh, streak of energy shooting off into space when your ship is jumping. Let's have a look. See that? Turns out those effects aren't random. If you pay close attention to the skybox, you can tell that there are some stars that are brighter than others. Well, these aren't just random graphics, but CCP actually bothered to put these stars in the right place, based on the coordinate system of the galaxy map. And those stars that are brighter than the others, those are the ones that are just closer. Does that make sense? See that? That's another useful feature. If you um, set a route uh, on the autopilot, it will actually highlight them right uh, in the skybox. And we're gonna use that to figure out where this thing actually jumped to. Okay, if I say useful, uh, I do have to admit that it's pretty awkward to use. Uh, it won't actually show you the constellations in space unless you currently have a active autopilot route there. And you actually have to look at the right time to even see the jump effect. But still, the information is there. Alright, I just brought my sin back. And as we now know where this neighboring system is in the skybox, let's have a closer look at the jump animation. So to make this whole thing more practical and actually determining where a ship is jumped without knowing beforehand where it's going, I have set an autopilot route that goes through a bunch of the surrounding systems. Um, by comparing the picture in the skybox with the map, I can tell which system is which. This here would be ETAC V, this is ETAC D, this is ETAC 8. This would be this would be MOTEC, that is 8WA. This is 5BT, and this one that, that's kind of hard to see is YTEC O. As we've already seen the Black Ops jump effect, let's try it with this carrier. See, the energy streak shot all the way to the right, which we previously determined to be the system of 5BT. Let's try it a little slower. And indeed, the Nidhogger did jump to the system of 5 Let's try this one more time, with a better angle this time.
So, is this light actually useful? Maybe. Probably not. I mean, you could use it to tell where an enemy capital fleet has jumped and instantly know where to send tacklers. Though, really, chances are they're sitting tethered in the citadel somewhere. And I mean, even if the information is given to you, it's pretty awkward to figure this whole thing out within the UI. Anyway, it's still such a nice attention to detail, which is something I really appreciate. I just wanted to share. See you in space, everyone.